and welcome to this Price of Job tutorial. In this video, we'll be taking a look at cavity walls below DPC. The damp proof course is a barrier designed to keep moisture from being absorbed from the lower walls below ground level to the upper walls above ground level. In a previous video, we looked at the module for solid walls below DPC. In this video, we'll take a look at the cavity walls below DPC. This can be accessed here from the module toolbar, from the below DPC category, and we can select cavity walls and create the module. Cavity walls below DPC usually start with trench blocks on the bottom and then have an inner skin and an outer skin with the cavity filled with concrete. Because of the various corners of a building, however, there's likely to be a difference in the length of the inner wall compared to the outer wall. So in this instance, let's set our outer skin at 25 meters, and we can see this dimension indicated on a sketch pane here. And then we can set our inner skin to 24 meters. And again, we can see this dimension indicated here on the sketch pane. And then we can select our mortar mix ratio. One to three or higher would be appropriate for a basement wall. We'll select one to four. Next, we can take a look at the stage for trench blocks. Here you can select the trench block height, and this is indicated by arrows on the sketch pane. And you can select the block width, either 255 millimeters, 275, 300, or 355. If you won't be using trench blocks, you can deselect this stage. And for this example, we'll leave this deselected. Next, we can look at the stage for the outer skin. And the outer skin is frequently split between blocks and brick because this will be visible from the exterior. So here we can select the height of the bricks as well as the height of the blocks. If you prefer not to have any brick at all on the outer skin here, we can set this to zero and set the blocks height to 450. And now some of these blocks will probably extend above ground level and be visible to the exterior. If we prefer to keep that more cosmetic, we can set that for blocks at 225 millimeters and the bricks also at 225. And this will allow our bricks below DPC to blend with the bricks of our upper walls for a more cosmetic appearance. Next, we'll take a look at the concrete fill. Regulations require that we leave one block of height empty in the cavity for insulation fill. So if our wall height is 450 millimeters, we would set our concrete fill height to 225 and this is indicated by arrows on the sketch pane. Then we can set the fill width, and let's adjust this to 140 mils. Then we can select whether we'll be using ready mix, and select the concrete type. C25 is selected, we might choose a stronger mix, say C35. And the concrete part load charge is automatically calculated for us here. Under the cog settings, we can adjust the minimum concrete load as well as the part load charge. If we prefer, we can mix on site, and here we can select our ratio, either 1 to 3, 1 to 4, 1 to 6, or custom, where we can set the ratio of our cement to ballast. Or we can choose a concrete pump, and select the number of pumps we'll require, select the concrete mix we'll be using, and again we can see the concrete part load charge calculated for us, and under the cog settings we have the part load charge, minimum concrete load, as well as the productivity of the pump in cubic meters per day. And if we consult our estimate here, we can see under the concrete fill stage, we can compare the costs of concrete pump versus mix on site versus ready mix. So because this is only a small volume of concrete required, only 0.79 cubic meters, in this case, we'll just mix on site. And Price Job automatically calculates our ballast and concrete, as well as the labor for mixing and filling the cavity. Next, we'll take a look at the inner skin. Because this is likely to be concealed within a basement, it's unlikely that you'll have bricks on the inner skin. However, if you choose to, you can do so and set the brick level, say to 450 and the blocks to zero. And you could have this inner skin all brick. In this case, we'll leave the blocks at 450 and the bricks at zero. Next, we'll take a look at the stage for the damp proof course. We'll require 49 meters of DPC and here we can select the thickness, either 100 millimeters, 150, 225, 300, or 450. And if we consult the estimate, we can see our damp proof course has been added here. We'll require 1.6 30 meter rolls. And the labor has also been added for laying the damp proof course. 
Next, we can select our air bricks. And from the materials drop down, we can select either clay or plastic or edit pack to add a new material if what we prefer to use is not already in the price of job library. We can just add that here. Then we can select the number of bricks required. In this case, we'll say 12. And we'll see some air bricks added to our sketch pane. And then we have a stage for general laborers. And this is in addition to the basic labor required for the various stages that we've already selected. However, if you require an additional laborer, you can select the number of laborers you require and whether that's for days, weeks, or months, and the number of days and hours per day that you will require them for. And this is also added as a separate stage. And as we go through the various stages, Price of Job automatically calculates all the material, all the labor, and any plant and tool required to complete this job. All the units, all the pricing, all the measurements, everything is calculated for you. And in addition, a nicely written description is automatically added. You can deselect the auto description function here to make any edits to the description that you want to make. And you can also add a note here to add any additional notes, including inclusions or allowances or exclusions. If the materials for this job will be provided for you and you're only quoting for the labor, you can access the filters icon here to only show the material, labor, plant and tool, or other costs. So for this example, if the materials were being provided, we could deselect material, add a note, and say exclusion, all materials to be provided by client. And then we can quote this job based on labor only. And you can see that all of our estimates have been updated to show only the labor. All the materials have been filtered out. Now this filter applies only to this specific module. If we wanted to filter all of our modules for this project, we would use the global filter here and either select the individual modules that we wish to exclude the materials or deselect all modules. But we'll leave our materials included and we'll edit this note to remove this exclusion. If we wish, we can change the title of our module here. Let's call this House Walls. And this updates here in our folder as well. We also have the option of selecting options, and we can rename this module from this window as well. Also in the options, we have the option to duplicate this module, in which case we can take our duplicate, change its title, call this one Garage Walls, and then make our amendments and make any adjustments to this module that we want to adjust. So perhaps the outer skin is all brick, base height zero. Perhaps we don't require a concrete fill for this. And perhaps the inner skin is all brick as well. And with just a few clicks, we can create another new module with all the pricing updated. Now, when we go to our reports, we can scroll down to find our modules, and here we have the cavity walls below DPC, both the house walls and the garage walls, with a nicely written description for each. We can adjust the bullet points to be automatic, to show all the inclusions and exclusions, if any. We can adjust our disclaimers here at the bottom, by clicking the plus button and selecting disclaimers from the Price of Job library, quote valid for three months only. If we'd like to make any edits to this disclaimer before we add it, we can select the pen, and make that change and then click the template to add this to our disclaimer. And now because we added that twice, we'll just remove this one and we can show a breakdown of pricing either per category or just grand total or as well a breakdown of materials, labor, plant and tool. And we can also show simple or advanced details where we can hide or display the description materials, labor, plant and tool, pricing and units, and then print off our report, export it as a PDF, a Word document, or email it directly from within Price a Job. And that's how to use the cavity walls below DPC module. Thank you for using Price a Job.